The Midnight Choir. Lucas had always been drawn to the graveyard, finding solace among the silent sentinels of stone. Each night, as the town of Hollow Creek slept, he would slip out of his small cottage and make his way through the winding paths of the cemetery. The moon cast eerie shadows across the weathered headstones, but to Lucas, they were like familiar landmarks guiding him through the darkness. On this particular night, however, a sense of unease settled over him like a heavy shroud. The air felt charged with an otherworldly energy, and a chill wind whispered through the trees, carrying with it a haunting melody that sent shivers down his spine. Lucas paused, his heart pounding in his chest, as the strange sound washed over him. At first, he tried to dismiss it as a trick of the wind, a figment of his imagination. But as the melody grew louder, more distinct, he realized that it was coming from somewhere within the graveyard itself. It was a sound unlike anything he had ever heard before, mournful yet beautiful, with a haunting quality that seemed to tug at his very soul. Despite the fear that gnawed at him, Lucas felt a strange curiosity stirring within him. He couldn't explain it, but he felt compelled to seek out the source of the sound, to uncover the mystery that lay hidden in the darkness. Ignoring the voice of reason that urged him to flee, he followed the eerie melody deeper into the heart of the graveyard. The path was overgrown and tangled with weeds, but Lucas pressed on, his footsteps echoing in the stillness of the night. As he drew closer to the source of the sound, he became aware of a strange sensation, a prickling at the back of his neck, as if unseen eyes were watching him from the shadows. Finally, he reached the oldest section of the graveyard, where the headstones were weathered and crumbling with age. And there, beneath the gnarled branches of an ancient oak tree, he saw it, a crumbling vault, its stone door half collapsed, from which the haunting melody seemed to emanate. A shiver ran down Lucas's spine as he stared at the decrepit structure, a sense of foreboding washing over him. What secrets lay hidden within its depths? And what dark forces had been unleashed upon the world to produce such a chilling sound? With trembling hands, Lucas reached out to push open the door of the vault, his heart pounding in his chest. Little did he know that in that moment, he was opening the door to a world of darkness and despair from which there would be no escape. As Lucas stood before the crumbling vault, a surge of fear and uncertainty coursed through him. The haunting melody that had drawn him here seemed to wrap around him like a suffocating cloak, pulling him deeper into its thrall. Common sense screamed at him to turn and run, to flee from whatever malevolent force lay within the vault, but still, he hesitated. It was as if the melody had woven its way into his very being, filling him with a strange sense of longing and curiosity that he could not ignore. Night after night, he found himself drawn back to the graveyard, unable to resist the pull of the haunting song that echoed through the darkness. During the day, the melody lingered in his mind, haunting his thoughts and whispering strange, incomprehensible words that seemed to tug at the edges of his consciousness. It was as if the song had taken root inside him, feeding off his curiosity and growing stronger with each passing moment. Driven by an inexplicable compulsion, Lucas began to spend his days researching the history of the graveyard and the town of Hollow Creek. He scoured ancient ledgers and dusty tomes in search of answers, desperate to uncover the truth behind the haunting melody that had consumed his every waking thought. And yet, the more he learned, the more questions arose. The record spoke of a family buried within the vault, the Caraways, who had met a tragic end in a mysterious fire centuries ago. But what connection did they have to the haunting song that now echoed through the graveyard each night? Despite the growing unease that gnawed at his soul, Lucas could not resist the pull of the melody. Night after night, he found himself drawn back to the vault, inching closer with each visit, his heart pounding in his chest as he reached out to touch the cold stone walls. The song grew louder with each passing night, its haunting melody seeping into his bones and filling him with a strange sense of euphoria. It was as if he had become addicted to the sound, unable to resist its siren call no matter how hard he tried. And so, Lucas found himself trapped in a never-ending cycle of obsession and despair, unable to break free from the grip of the haunting melody that had consumed his life. Little did he know that he was about to uncover secrets far darker and more sinister than he could ever have imagined. As the days passed, Lucas's obsession with the haunting melody grew ever more consuming. During the daylight hours, he pored over ancient texts and crumbling ledgers in search of answers, desperate to unravel the mystery that had taken hold of his life. And with each passing revelation, his unease deepened. It was during one particularly grueling research session at the Hollow Creek Historical Society that Lucas stumbled upon a clue that sent chills down his spine. Buried within the pages of an old ledger was a mention of the Caraway family, the same family whose vault he had been drawn to in the graveyard. According to the records, the Caraways had been a prominent family in Hollow Creek, their wealth and influence stretching back for generations. But their fortunes had taken a dark turn when a series of tragedies befell them, culminating in a mysterious fire that had claimed the lives of the entire family. 
As Lucas delved deeper into the history of the Caraways, he uncovered a tale of greed, betrayal, and unspeakable horror. It seemed that the family had made a pact with dark forces in exchange for power and riches, but their deal had come at a terrible price. The fire that had consumed them was no accident, it was a punishment for their sins, a curse that had bound their souls to the graveyard for all eternity. With a sinking feeling in the pit of his stomach, Lucas realized the true nature of the haunting melody that had ensnared him. It was the voice of the Caraway family, trapped between the worlds of the living and the dead, their restless spirits crying out for release. Armed with this newfound knowledge, Lucas returned to the graveyard once more, determined to confront the source of the haunting melody and put an end to its torment. As he approached the crumbling vault, the air grew thick with a sense of foreboding, and he could feel the weight of centuries of suffering pressing down upon him. With trembling hands, he pushed open the door of the vault and stepped inside, his heart pounding in his chest. The darkness enveloped him like a suffocating blanket, but still, he pressed on, guided by the faint echo of the haunting melody that lingered in the air. And then, suddenly, he saw them, the spectral forms of the Caraway family, their faces twisted in agony as they reached out to him with ghostly hands. Their voices rose in a cacophony of anguished wails, their words forming disjointed phrases that spoke of torment and longing. With a sense of horror, Lucas realized that he had unwittingly become a conduit for the spirits of the damned, their restless souls using him as a vessel to communicate with the living world. And as the realization washed over him, he knew that there was only one way to end their suffering, to set them free, no matter the cost. Lucas stood before the spectral forms of the Caraway family, their anguished cries echoing through the darkness of the vault. Fear and determination warred within him as he struggled to find a way to free them from their torment. With a trembling hand, he reached out to touch the nearest spirit, his fingers passing through its ghostly form like smoke. The spirit recoiled at his touch, its features contorted in pain, but still, Lucas pressed on, his mind racing with desperate thoughts. And then, in a moment of clarity, he knew what he must do. Drawing upon the strange power that coursed through him, he began to sing, not the haunting melody of the Caraway family, but a song of his own creation, filled with hope and light. As his voice rang out through the darkness, he could feel the energy shifting around him, the oppressive weight of centuries lifting from his shoulders. The spirits of the Caraway family turned towards him, their eyes filled with wonder and gratitude as they listened to his song. And then, one by one, they began to fade away, their ghostly forms dissolving into the air like mist in the morning sun. With each spirit that vanished, Lucas felt a sense of peace settle over him, as if a heavy burden had been lifted from his soul. But just as he thought the ordeal was over, a voice spoke out from the shadows, a voice that was not like the others, filled with malice and contempt. You may have freed the Caraway family, mortal, but you cannot escape the darkness that lies within you, the voice hissed, its words dripping with venom. Lucas's heart pounded in his chest as he turned to face the source of the voice, his eyes widening in horror as he saw a figure emerging from the darkness, a twisted specter with glowing red eyes and a malevolent grin. It was the spirit of the dark entity that had bound the Caraway family to the graveyard, the same entity that had ensnared Lucas in its web of darkness. With a surge of fear and determination, Lucas raised his voice once more, singing a song of defiance and strength. And as he sang, he could feel the power of the dark entity waning, its grip on him loosening with each note. And then, with a final, triumphant cry, he watched as the spirit of the dark entity was consumed by the light, its form dissolving into nothingness as if it had never existed. As silence fell over the graveyard once more, Lucas knew that the nightmare was finally over. He had faced the darkness within himself and emerged victorious, a true master of his own fate. And as he turned to leave the graveyard behind him, he knew that he would never forget the lessons he had learned, the power of hope in the face of despair, and the strength that lies within each and every one of us to overcome even the darkest of challenges.